Hoffman, and welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the week. And one of the big stories this week, you know, we've covered a lot of stories out of the Department of Corrections uh, this year. But this one, by far, is one of the more interesting ones. And Crystal, why don't you share with our viewers? This week is no different for news out of the Department of Corrections. Actually, maybe it's very different, but we have news out of the Department of Corrections mm -hmm. that a total of four Department of Corrections officers were placed on administrative leave because of an ongoing investigation into nude photos that were taken of an inmate. Mm -hmm. uh, two of those officers were cleared of any wrongdoing while two remain on admin leave. And again, the uh, KOM sources say that the pictures, the nude photos were that of Keith Garrido. Keith Garrido, if you remember, was the man convicted of murder. He was also the man that was able to get out of Depcor hands while en route to court. So extra security is needed for this man. And the, the photo allegedly depicts him standing in the nude, covering his private parts with a hospital mask. It was during, a, it was during, you know, when they screened them down. Yeah, the strip search. The right. strip search, mm -hmm. yes, it was during the strip search. So four officers put on admin leave si since earlier this week, two have been cleared. Right, and so again, the uh, Dep Corps, uh, Deputy Director Carla Bull has told us that uh, a um, preliminary uh, findings from that investigation should be due out on the 7th. Right? Mm -hmm. Very soon. So I can't wait to see how yeah. they justify <laughs> that. And also the cell phone ban has been re-implemented or reinstated right. amongst the, the corrections officers. Okay. And uh, Issa, you did such an awesome story about uh, a woman that you actually met months ago, mm -hmm. right? And, and tell us about that. Yeah, so as you know, there were hundreds of people who were displaced after Typhoon Dolphin. And so one of these was uh, this lady, Mary Lou, from Jigo. So I'd interviewed her uh, about a month ago um, after her home was destroyed, and she shared her story. And then again earlier this week, it just so happens, it was really con coincidental. So Monday, that's, or over the weekend, they announced that individual assistance was again denied for Guam. And that same day, I got a text message from Mary Lou saying, you know, even though individual assistance was denied, there are people in the community that, that are helping uh, these families. So she actually got a package in the mail, which um, was a letter and a gift card to Home Depot to help her rebuild her home. And it just so happened that this viewer, some person she doesn't even know, they saw her story on Facebook, or on our Facebook page, and they were so touched by it that they reached out and they got in touch with her. And this person um, is actually even going to is still in contact with the family and plans to help them um, more as they plan to rebuild their home. And the, the individual that uh, provided the assistance, they, they don't want anybody to know who they are? They are requested to remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, another big story this week, uh, Ken, you covered regarding uh, medicinal marijuana? Yeah, it's been quite the journey for medicinal marijuana, and this week they had three public hearings uh, for the draft rules and regulations. Um, several people came out. One of the biggest concerns was the $35,000 fee for dispensary registration and cultivation site registration certificates. A lot of um, negative feedback on that, along with the $500 suggested price for an ounce of medicinal marijuana. Um, the public hearings ended this week, but the public still has 10 days uh, from uh, this week to um, submit their comments. You can go to public submit it at public health or email them and uh, once uh, once all the comments are submitted there will be submitted to the attorney general's office for a legal review so uh, it looks, it's, uh, the journey's not over for this, this story. Well speaking of journeys you just got back from a journey to China. <laughs> yeah I went, I went to uh, Shanghai China uh, as part of a United Fam tour we were hosted by um, the Shanghai Municipal Tourism Administration we got to experience the sights and sounds the food culture and of course the fun of Shanghai and we'll be putting together our great escape to Shanghai special will be showing later in August so it's definitely a, a, a story you want to share to the people of Guam. Yeah, you and Pete did a great job and we just absolutely loved um, your Shanghai selfies. <laughs> You're a great we, selfie taker. Uh, <laughs> and I mean it blew up our, our Instagram and Facebook page so great job. Uh, if you have stories, tips, ideas you'd like for us to cover remember you can always tag us on Facebook, message us on Facebook or also uh, message, email us at reporters at KUAM.com. More on Weekend Edition returns. Mm -hmm.